story to this photograph. Um, that is an actor who was at Aden Castle the day that I was there. And uh, just before we went for a, a shot, I was standing next to him as the people were setting up and uh, I started talking to him. Now, he was wearing a really bad costume. It was, yes, studded leather. It was a particularly bad piece of studded leather. Really pathetic, wimpy sort of tabardy thing with just a, a, a paltry scattering of heavy metal rock studs that would just do nothing to stop any sort of, of weapon. It was pathetic and ugly and he was meant to be the Lord of the Castle. It was a terrible costume. Um, anyway, I did something that I immediately regretted. I, during the conversation, sort of pointed out that that piece of armour really wouldn't work terribly well. Um, he said, well, maybe it would work against a, a glancing blow. I said, well, it would have to be glancing to the point of would have missed you if, missed you, if you hadn't been wearing the armour. Um, and it was fine. It didn't really matter. And it says on this photograph, you are forgiven because I met him at a comic con in Newcastle recently, apologised to him and he signed that and he said, you are forgiven. So, you know, I, I, I was able eventually to get that apology in, but I was, I was very um, conscious of the fact that you shouldn't undermine an actor's faith in his own costume just before he's about to do a take. Um, uh, what I did was a bad thing, uh, but I'm very glad to say that I was able to apologise for it. And he, he didn't seem at all upset. Oh look, there's um, a bloke from Game of Thrones, and that's where Josh, James Cosmo was sitting. And oh, wasn't that um, Seven of Nine or some? Oh no, it's the woman from the Terminator. Uh, oh, she's gone. One memento I have of my day at Aden Castle is this photograph, and I wonder if I can squeeze some interest out of it by commenting. Well, everyone is wearing dingy brown and black, which is par for the course in anything meant to look medieval. Uh, even these characters, who are noblemen. Everyone has big, messy hair, there's no evidence for that, and combs, they're really low-tech. Despite the fact that these gentlemen have been travelling outdoors, they're not wearing hats, which is a bit odd. What else have we got? Uh, solid wheels on those hand carts, they'd be really heavy. Odd place to leave a load of sheaves of straw. This low wall was interesting, I think it might have been fibreglass, with its base hidden by straw. It didn't enclose anything, just ended abruptly. Um, I think it was trying to hide something modern. But how can his lordship suffer the embarrassment of these pitiful tumble-down shacks in his castle? They have extra ragged comedy thatching. Clearly the local thatchers have no pride in their work. And you can tell it's brand new thatch because it's quite brightly coloured. And um, especially from the side, it's very easy to see how that thin layer of thatch wouldn't keep out any rain at all. But... Far and away, the most glaring error, the thing that makes this shot look to me quite ridiculous, although I appreciate why it may have been difficult for them to change this, is this great sward of green grass. One of these, I recall, was a goat buyer. Goats eat everything. People inside a great household like this would be trudging around again and again in all weathers to these buildings and back, and everything, if not paved, would be trodden to bare earth. This firewood is... It's fine. It, it's absolutely fine. Lindy Bear!